Ladies and gentlemen, giving the valedictory speech this morning is Jonathan Pei Zhuang Shen, a graduate of the diploma course in civil engineering with business. May I now call upon Jonathan to deliver the farewell address on behalf of the new graduates. Jonathan, please. A very good morning to our guest speaker, Dr. John Kyung, Principal and CEO, Mr. Tan Chun Shen, ladies and gentlemen. Like many of us here, I came from a neighborhood secondary school. Three years back, I scored a poor aggregate in the O levels and knew my aspiration to be a civil engineer seemed impossible. I applied to SP's civil engineering with business through the JAE, JPSAE, and even the JAE appeal routes all of which failed. As a last resort, I wrote a separate appeal directly to SP, and thankfully, a place became available. Meeting the last aggregate score in that year, SP gave me the spot and the opportunity to prove myself. To SP, thank you very much. Given this precious opportunity, I transformed from an ill-disciplined game addict into a self-disciplined, responsible student. Instead of gaming for almost 32 hours every week as I used to, I set goals for myself and had study routines. It worked. Because even though FYP was one of the most challenging experiences, my teammates and I achieved a merit award at the SP Green Challenge. Besides schoolwork, I was also active in CCA, ranging from playing the trombone to arranging songs for the SP Symphonic Band. I also made time to help the underprivileged both locally and abroad. Wow, looking back, I must have spent about 80% of my time on campus and just like many of us, SP became my second home. Soon, my hard work and commitment paid off. I started receiving academic awards at ABE and became the concert master of the SP Symphonic Band. People began seeing me differently from someone who was called stupid and a burden to somebody who could finally achieve and be trusted with responsibility. Indeed, failure brought me to the start of a bright new beginning. Without a doubt, I speak for the rest of us when I say we wouldn't be who we are today without our dear, dedicated lecturers who patiently guided us in our studies and cared for our well-being. Also not forgetting our beloved parents. They are the ones who constantly supported us and showered us with their unconditional love. Lastly, to all of my wonderful friends in SP, thank you and let us not forget all the memories we share that bind us together. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you may wonder why I started this speech talking about failure, especially on such a happy occasion. Inevitably, all of us will face failure at some point in our lives, but it is how we react to and deal with it that makes a difference. If we fail, we must stop, reflect, and ensure we don't make the same mistakes again. Let us not allow failures to dishearten or set us back because failure can mean, like it did for me, the start of a bright new beginning. <laughs> Congratulations, ABE graduates of 2015!